Well, thankfully, the weather has cooperated for people driving today. We'll try to find the optimism here. One of the busiest travel days of the year. And AAA expects more people to drive to their Thanksgiving destinations this holiday. And Brandon Scott joins us live to tell us why. John Mallory, you can thank low crude oil prices and by extension, low gas prices for this year's heavier Thanksgiving traffic. It's about 500 miles, 550 to where we're going tonight. That's quite the schlep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lana Rasmussen and her husband Marlon are driving from Aurora, Nebraska to Minnesota to spend Thanksgiving with their children and grandchildren. She does a good job of driving and and I can hold down this seat so it doesn't run away. So. The Rasmussen's are two of the 42 million people AAA predicts will drive more than 50 miles this Thanksgiving weekend. Traffic is expected to be heavy with so many people out on the roads. I think a lot of them are out here on I-80. <laughs> According to AAA, more people are driving to their Thanksgiving destinations this year thanks to falling prices at the fuel pump. The average national price for a gallon of gas is just $2.05, nearly a dollar cheaper than last year. In Omaha, the average price is even lower, $2.03, with several gas stations charging less than $2 per gallon. Layla Carell is thankful for the price she paid to fill up before her Thanksgiving drive from Plattsmith to Lincoln. It's a huge savings because it normally takes like $40 to fill this. I just filled it on 20, so half. That's an extra $20, you know, that can go towards something else. So it's, I love it. It needs to stay low. And actually, analysts expect these low gas prices to stay low for a while. And that's good news for all of us. That means we have a little extra money to spend on those holiday gifts. John and Mallory. Well, Brandon, if the roads are busier this year, how about the airports? Well, that's a good question. Some of these airports across the country, very busy, but not all of them. In fact, Omaha's Epley Airfield was almost a ghost town today. Uh, there is a new list out ranking the busiest and least busy airports this holiday weekend. I'll be back at 630 to tell you where Epley ranks on that list. All right, thanks. Brandon Scott reporting live.